fans and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Okay, all set to go. And digging in for San Francisco, Wilmer Flores. Paxton deals. And delivers outside. Two and one. Good oh, eye right there. Away. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if Thank he wants mate. to go back there later in this count. Yeah, there's ball four. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Ball to strike. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That That's one ball. misses. That's five straight. Well, great he's one. so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. That one ripped. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Pitch. Well struck deep right field. Went back and out of here. A gigantic blast. It's 3 nothing. Pitchers are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt. But unfortunately on that one, he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location, but it was just a better swing. Jorge Soler up at the plate. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And here is Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. One out, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And there are two down. And here is Matt that Chapman. The third base. Matt. The 1-1. One one. And another ball. Lined and that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Austin Slater stands in. Chapman off the first with two away. That one drilled left field and foul ball. That one ripped right center field. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. In to score from first, and they lead by four. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And now here is Patrick Bailey. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can. And he chases that one. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. See how turned up that we be. You see how hot my degrees be. 
Back here in L.A. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. And that one is in the dirt. And the count is two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Shohei Otani. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Left-hand batter waits. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he'll turn for second. Oh, the throw is wild. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. That's the ball. Yeah, there's a ball. One out and a runner at second. Rip towards third. And Freeman is retired. The batter now batter will be Will Smith. The catcher. Here's a 2 1. And a swing and a miss. Two balls. Two straight. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Man on second, two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Second inning set to go. Now Marco Luciano. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And there's a foul ball. In the air to left center. Sizes this one up. Calls it in. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And a foul ball. He goes down looking. Two outs, space is empty. Okay. Next to hit, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. And he chases a high fastball there. One ball, two straight. Got it, swing it. Back here at Chavez Ravine, bottom of the inning. Max Muncy at the dish. Max Muncy. And the righty deals. Muncy hits one in the air. Moving under this one. Makes the catch. And there's one away. That is James good. Outman, the That's next to hit. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Kicks and deals. 
just missed. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there's certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. And now Teoscar Hernandez, the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers. Base knock right field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. I'm sure that he feels good. really good about that They're one. Right. Nice job of driving that Take pitch care. the other way on a line. You know, are, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it. Oh, that ball finds its way to the outfield. A base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 4-1. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on him, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now it's Gavin Lux. Strike on the inside corner. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Ground ball right side could be two. Throws to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Digging in. Mike Yastrzemski. Now this is in the air down the line. Nobody can get there. And it's a foul ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages... He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Showed a willingness to Up drive that head. pitch the opposite way. But didn't get jumpy. Down. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing. Freeman oh. to second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Man at first, one away. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The pitch. That one in the dirt. The count now, two and two. And another ball. and misses it's a strikeout and here is Matt Chapman two outs got him looking and he did not like the call and we're back ready to go for the last half of the inning here's Mookie Betts And they'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. And that skips in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. In the air, left field. Slater gets under it. One down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Splits the plate, and the count's full. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Righty to the plate. 
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Moved to first. Tag, and he's picked off. The Dodgers trailing by three here in the last half of the third. Left-hand hitter waits. Caught and missed. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one-two. Out of the fourth, here's the left fielder, Austin Slater. The one-one. There's a swing and a drive. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Full extension makes the catch. Runner tags up for third, and he's in safely at third with one out. And up next for San Francisco, Marco Luciano. Runner on at third, one gone. That one well upstairs. Now three and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Ripped to third and caught. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Bounce to third, and it goes just foul. Two outs. Stays alive. One and two now. Hey. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Here comes a pitch. Top foul out of play off to the right. And a pitch. Ground ball to the right side. He steps on the bag. One up, one down. And now it's Max Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. On the run, throw to first. They get him, but it was pretty close. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the end. And it stays fair. Out the ground second on his way to third. Coming home. Now a relay to the plate. Save. Well done. Drives in the run. Contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Here's Jason Hayward. That misses the zone. Three and one down. Man at second. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Oh. 
comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. Two straight. First and second, two down. To the right side, Flores. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Ryan Yarbrough. You're at this point in the ball game. We're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now two and two. Got him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. That one hammered center field. That ball's carrying. It's a bomb. Another homer, his second home run of the game. It's 5-2. And next is the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. High fly ball, shallow right field. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Michael Conforto will climb in. Two down, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw on to Freeman, yep, and down. that is that. I don't wear no cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a cleaning house. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's a big power threat, Mookie Betts. Mookie the shortstop takes the ball. You know, these Dodgers looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. High in the air, out to right. Conforto sizing this one up. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Shohei Otani up to the dish. That pitch gets the corner, and the count one and two. Just missed. It's a good take. Good eye in that spot. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Left field. And that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. And that rolls into the corner. Around second now, as they still don't have him. And he's there at third with a triple. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Ball to strike. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. In comes the runner from third. It's 5-3. And that's a double. He was all over that one. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and he went screaming at 108 miles per hour. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Swings and sends a rocket to right. He holds it in, two away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right Man. right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And it is two and one.
Foul on foul. Two and two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Matt Chapman. And strike two. One ball. Strike. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together yeah, for him. Man. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The and now the switch in and catcher, Patrick Bailey. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around third. Fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. That's three singles in a row. Just a cookie yeah, down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And here is Marco Luciano. Foul ball there. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Two on, one out. Way out front for strike two. Well, hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still trying to get that ground ball double play. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Now that one. The second one pitch. down. Tyro. Now Tyro Estrada. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. That pitch gets the inside corner. And the count is even, two and two. Ground ball left side could be two. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. As a run scores, they go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Daniel Hudson. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing yeah, strikes with the bases loaded. Just tends to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. on the swallow had the distance just couldn't keep it fair imagine how great that feels running around the bases when you just hit a granny he's got to dig back in figure out a way maybe he can do it again and he went around according to patrick johnson and now it's the giants dh jorge soler all loaded up dangerous hitter at the plate and that one fouled off And that's outside. It's two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. Well, a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Four night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty fun fastball right there. I'll tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Next offering is downstairs. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. 
swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And he one hops the wall around third. He scores as well. They clear the bases. It's now 11 3. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Oh, that's a little bit low. Two outs and one in scored position. That's in there, and it's three and two. Three ball. So now that's two on and two outs. Just missed there. Now bad Ooh. Bad. How that would you describe your strike zone? Kind of like a weevil. Large. Huh. Swing and a miss. One ball. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next pitch way upstairs. And that's a little high. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Base knock right field. Coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Comes through with the RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. At the play, Patrick Bailey and a foul ball. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And another ball. down the line and that drops foul two on two outs battling here as he fouls it away good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat and that's ball four it wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat Marco Luciano getting ready to hit at the belt and fires swings and misses and a count one and two it might be time to choke up a little bit get that front foot down early maybe even just spread out he's really late right now smoked on the ground a second they take the force out and that will end the inning Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Mason Black. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Sizes this one up. One away. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. This to third. Tosses to first. And Hernandez is out. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayden. That's inside. And a count to a walk. Three balls. One straight. Pitches in there, and now it's three and two. And he walked it. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny.
Good job to fight that one off. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Slater calls it in to end the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Alex Vesia. You're and completely. with the big deficit on the now scoreboard, the he almost on. has to just put that out Number of his mind. One. Every outing oh, no. matters for relievers and their numbers. Yeah. Right? I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one That's in a close ball. game. And another Three ball. ball. One strike. And that's off the inside edge. Three and one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now it's going to be Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Hayward going back. And caught on the warning track. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And the pitch. Two ball. Two strike. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it's out of here. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they tack one on the board. It's 13-3. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one. And he's just so locked in with this swing. And he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game. Man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Next to hit, Jorge Soler. Woo. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the top half of inning number seven. Just oh. misses. Ball two. And a pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Hernandez makes a nice running catch. Set for the last half of the seventh, and now it's Mookie Betts. Kawhi to kick the pitch. And that one fouled off. Right handed reliever. Oh, two and two. That one just misses. That two seam okay. fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. And a 3 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. That one is absolutely belted. Banks off the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to no, follow. So ball. many positives that led to that knock. And it's second. Liner, base hit. Around third. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And downstairs. One on, nobody out, a run in here at the bottom of the seventh. 
And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Still 2 and 2 after the foul ball. That one lifted to left. Slater gets under it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Met at first. Now, and the batter now, the Will Smith. The pitch. Liner snagged at first. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. And we're back. We go to the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Left hand batter waits. Good eye right there. And another ball. Green one. Three one now. Sliced hard, but foul. And now the lefty gets a piece there. We'll do it again. 3-2. In the air, left field. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's now Matt Chapman. Down. It's interesting he now plays down. kind of a, a power down. spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Swing and a miss struck him out. Two outs, bases now empty. Down. Austin down. Slater, down. the next down. giant to hit. Later. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. On to the bottom of the eighth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Max Muncy. Next pitch is outside. In the air, center field. Yastrzemski under this one. And there's one down. And here is now, now, James Outman. Out. 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 And the right hander deals. That clips the corner. Bounce to the right side, oh, and that's just foul. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Two down, nobody on. That clips a corner. And that one is lifted in the air. Slater sprinting. Grabs it on the run. And that's the third out. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Joe Kelly. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now, Patrick Bailey. The catch at number 14, Patrick Bailey. And the righty deals. And another ball. Oh, 
That yep. one misses. Three and, three and one. Right through there for a strike. Three ball. Two strike. Rip to short. Betts whips it to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Marco Luciano, the next giant to hit. One down, base is empty. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. It's been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll help. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Stepping in, Wilmer Flores. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Luciano, the runner at second with one away. Got him swinging. Now that Tyro Estrada, the Tyro next giant to hit. Estrada. The one one. And that's in there at the knees. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets... Right. And down on strikes. And that is that. Last chance for the home team. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Is fouled off. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. The and nine. the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Yeah, Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And another ball. Line and caught at third by Chapman. The Gold Glover oh, makes the play. Oh, oh. So it's their last chance in this oh, one. And now the shortstop, Mookie yeah. Betts. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one fouled off. Black is just one strike away. That oh. one misses. Two and two. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Careful. The Giants up big in this one. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. That one to first. And that'll do it. The key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped all over the opposing pitching, and it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes a team to the finish line. And that's what they did. They got the win in this game. 13-4 is your final. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chung.